Okay, so now we're into the game of Stinger Netball. So that is five aside. So you've got your centre, goal shooter, goal keeper, goal defence and goal attack, okay? Your centres will always start in the middle and then, depending on which way you're shooting, you want your goal shooter and goal attack in your attacking end and then your goalkeeper and goal defence in your defending end. So it's very important that the centre is facing the way that they are shooting. So on this court, we've got the yellows facing this way towards their goal shooter and goal attack and the blues facing downwards. OK, so a couple of the rules. How long are we allowed to hold the ball for? Four seconds. OK, so that's a nice long time, so we don't need to rush any passes. Are we allowed to mark with our arms? Yep, yeah, and the distance you have to be is 0 0.9 of a metre. If you're not sure what that distance is, you can either take a big step or a really good indicator is the centre circle. This is 0 0.9 of a metre. If you stand with your toes to the yellow edge, that is 0 0.9 of a metre. So Jazz, if you were to just, if you pick up the ball, Liliana, and if you were to mark, that is the distance that you would need to be to mark that ball, okay? Perfect. If you infringe, obviously then you need to stand by the side and it is a penalty pass. Okay, there's a difference between the penalty pass and a free pass. A penalty pass is when you infringe an opponent. A free pass is of something like footwork. Okay, so if you took too many steps with the ball. When we take a throw in, we must take it from where the ball went out of play. Okay, and where do our feet need to be? behind the yellow line, okay? If they're on the yellow line, then it would be a free pass to the opposing team. Is everybody happy with where they need to go? So centre, you're allowed everywhere apart from the Ds, okay? And then everybody else is allowed in two thirds, depending on which end you are attacking. Put your hand up if you are a shooter. Put your hand up if you're a defender. Perfect, okay. Let's do a rock, paper, scissors to start. There we go. Blues. Blues get it. Wait, wait, wait for the whistle. <laughs> Lovely. Yellow centre. Still in play. Yeah. Obstruction, centre. Mm -hmm. So we'll just take it back there. So the reason why our goalkeeper took it then is because she is a defending player, okay, which then allows our attacking players to move further down the court. So anybody can take a penalty pass or a free pass if they're allowed in that area. Okay, so it's good if your defenders can take it, allowing your attackers to move up into more space. Let's take it back with Evie. <laughs> Obstruction, goalkeeper. So too close, so you need to stand by her side, Emily. Because it's a penalty and you infringe that player. And then you can go back into play. Lovely shot, Evie. So blue centre, everybody back on side. So a blue sideline in the end third, because that's where it came out of play. So up where it happened. Feet behind the line. Good. Get your distance. One jump, good. Get your distance. Lovely shooting. So a blue throw in from the back line, making sure our feet are behind the line. Foot 
work. So that's a free pass to the blue team where it happened. So a blue throw in, feet behind the line. Good shot. Yellow centre. Okay, step in. Yeah. Obstruction, centre, penalty pass to the Blues. Yeah, and side by side. Yeah. Lovely shooting. Yeah. Footwork, goal attack. Good interception, Tansy. Good defence. Footwork, centre. Blue ball. Replay ball. So yellow. So we mustn't catch the ball and drop it. Yellow back line. Feet behind the line. Lovely interception. Yellow sideline. Lovely shooting. Yellow centre. <laughs> Offside, blue goal attack. So you're not allowed in this area. Big throw, big throw, massive throw. Yeah. Replays ball. Yeah. Offside centre. Unlucky there, Jazz. 